वेलकम एवरी वन वी हैव बिन स्टार्टिंग अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम नाउ सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू प्ले अ बेट नाउ विथ एट विथ यूजिंग ऑल आवर नॉलेज सो लेट्स सी लेट्स ट्राई टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन गिवन एनी टू नंबर्स ए एंड बी कैन वी इंसर्ट एज मैनी नंबर्स एज वी लाइक बिटवीन दम सच दैट द रिजल्टिंग सीक्वेंस इज एन ए पी so what is it trying to say it is trying to say that there are just any two numbers any two numbers you like for example 3 or 24 or something like that any numbers uh, which you like now can we insert as many numbers between them such that the resulting sequence will be an ap so let us see we have let's say two numbers a and b this can be any of your favorite numbers and now the question is can we insert as many numbers as we like so let's say we have many numbers let's say a1 a2 a3 so on up to an so let's say we want to insert these n numbers where n could be anything any number you want can we be able to find these numbers such that the resulting sequence will be an ap that is if we insert these numbers a1 a2 a3 and so on up to an and in the end we have b so this resulting sequence should be an ap so we have two numbers a and b now the question is that can we insert as many numbers as we like between these two numbers such that the resulting sequence will be ap so we need to find these numbers a1 to an so let's start uh, so uh, if this is an ap let's say this is an ap let us assume that this is an ap arithmetic progression then for this what uh, other things that we can see is that the first term is a okay so the first term is a now the number of terms will be if we are inserting n number of terms in between then the total number of terms will be n these n and then plus 1 this term and one more so total number of terms will be n plus 2 n terms that we are inserting and two terms that we already had so we have our first term as a okay and we have n plus 2 number of terms in this uh, ap and one more thing that we know is our last term now last term will be n plus 2 term so our n plus 2 term or last term is equal to b so these are the things that we know now so basically now we just need to find the common difference so if we are able to find common difference then we can find all these numbers since we know the first term then we can just keep adding the common difference and you, we can find all the numbers so let's see how we can find it so for the n plus 2th term or last term what do we what we can write b is equal to first term that is a plus n minus 1 now in this case n is n plus 2 it is n plus 2th term so we have n plus 2 minus 1 times d this is the common difference that we have to find i hope uh, you got what we wrote here so this is simply t n plus 2 is equal to a plus n plus 2 minus 1 times d and t n plus 2 is b so we simply write for d what do we have d is equal to a goes to the other side b minus a and this thing is n plus 1 so d is equal to n plus 1 so that's it we know the common difference d we know the first term a so we know the entire ap so if we want to write the second term the second term will be a1 is equal to a plus d or this will be equal to a plus b minus a divided by n plus 1 so this will be our f, uh, a1 similarly we can find a2 a2 will be a plus 2d 
और दिस विल बी इक्वल टू ए प्लस टू टाइम्स बी माइनस ए डिवाइडेड बाई एन प्लस वन एंड सो ऑन इफ वी वॉन्ट टू राइट एक्सप्रेशन फॉर ए एन देन ए एन विल बी ए प्लस एन डी सिंस दिस इज एन प्लस वन एथ टर्म्स इट विल बी ए प्लस एन डी एंड दे फो इट विल बी इक्वल टू ए प्लस एन टाइम्स बी माइनस ए डिवाइडेड बाई एन प्लस वन सो दे फो दिस वॉज अ जनरल केस वी हैव एनी टू नंबर्स ए बी and we are able to find a1 a2 a3 and so on up to n numbers so n can be anything you like 100 200 300 any number of terms so given two terms we can insert any number of terms between them such that the resulting sequence is an ap and this is the procedure to find it so the answer to the question we asked in the beginning is yes given any two numbers a and b we can insert as many numbers as we like as many numbers as we like between a and b such that the resulting sequence will be an ap we will have a look at an example let's have a look at this example so we have been given two numbers 3 and 24 and we need to insert six numbers between 3 and 24 such that the resulting sequence is an ap so what do we have here is we have 3 and we have 24 so we have these two numbers and now we need to insert six numbers between them so let's say we have a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 so we need to insert these six numbers between them such that the resulting sequence will be an arithmetic progression so how do we start so let let's say this is an ap we assume this is an ap then we have our first term as 3 right and how many number of terms are there we have six terms inserted in between and two terms were already there so we have 6 7 8 so n is equal to 8 and what do we have here as our last term 24 and 24 is the eighth term eighth term or the last term is equal to 24 so now we simply apply the formula for this therefore 24 will be equal to a plus 7d right so a is 3 plus 7 8 minus 1 7 times d therefore d will be equal to 24 minus 3 21 divided by 7 is 3 therefore d is equal to 3 that's it we know our first term we know the common difference therefore what will a1 be a1 will be a plus d that is 3 plus 3 6 what will a2 be 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 3 12 12 3 15 15 3 18 18 3 21 so so that's it so these are the six number 6 9 12 15 18 and 21 that we can insert between 3 and 24 such that the resulting sequence will be an arithmetic progression yep. so you can now just take any two numbers that you like your favorite numbers and you can insert any whatever number you want to insert in between so just ask your younger brother or sister around in your home which are which are his three favorite numbers let's say then you start with the first you start with any two numbers as the first number and the last number and the third number that uh, your brother or sister tells you insert that many numbers between these two terms such that the resulting sequence will be an arithmetic progression good luck with that so that was a general case we could insert any number whatever we wanted to insert in between there is one very simple case where we want to insert let's say just one number between two numbers so we are given a and b two numbers and we want to insert just one number in between them such that the resulting sequence will be an ap we want to find what this number will be so if this is an ap then the common difference should be the same that is a minus a should be equal to b minus a right common difference should be equal to common difference therefore from here we can find a as equal to a plus b divided by 
now this thing is given a special name it is called as the arithmetic mean of these two numbers a and b so uh, it is also uh, an average so if you have two numbers a and b then the average uh, will be its arithmetic mean so this is uh, a special name given to this number so let's say you play a cricket match uh, with your brother and sister and in the first match you score 10 runs in the second match you scored 20 runs so what will be your arithmetic mean of your scores or what will be your average it will be 10 plus 20 divided by 2 or 30 div divided by 2 is equal to 15 so on average you score 15 runs you can find all the lectures on arithmetic progression in this playlist here and also the lectures on pair of linear equations in two variables in this uh, playlist here. Also, please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends. Thank you.